The year is almost coming to an end and we have had some fantastic games to be released for VR in 2022. PC VR is not that so don't listen to the ones that say so. In this video I will show you the best VR games released this year. First on the list was an absolute blast to play and we can't forget about this title. It is Wanderer, built from the ground up for VR. This game has a unique blend of escape room style puzzles, tactile hands-on interactions and action arcade sequences to bring you the ultimate time travel adventure. This is an absolute must have for escape room lovers and if you like puzzles in general. The game takes you through history and lets you visit some amazing sceneries. It is super diverse and again, one of the must play PC VR titles as of now. Jumping to another fantastic puzzle game is The Last Clockwinder. This game is so innovative, I just really love it. The Last Clockwinder is a VR puzzle automation game. In this game you basically have to team up with yourself as you have to perform simple tasks by hand and then clone yourself over and over and over again. The game takes place in a gorgeous setting inspired by watchmaking, sci-fi and the natural world. Like Wanderer, if you are into puzzle games, check this one out and thank me later. For the ones that like puzzle games but are looking for a more heavy narrative game, then go for Firewatch VR. Yes, I will include some of the best VR mods being released this year that makes games feel like they are made for VR and Firewatch VR is such a mod. This game is meant to be played in VR in my opinion. The pacing, the scenery and that together with the music is absolutely fantastic. The VR aspect really drags you into the game. This mod also has full motion control supports, so if you have the game, this mod is free to play. And if you have never played this game, just start playing this one in VR. Now if Firewatch is too relaxed for you and you want a challenge, why not try Tin Can? You are in a spaceship that is about to be destroyed and the only way out is via an old escape pod. With no knowledge of the complex systems, your life depends on a simple technical manual and your own width. Tin Can is a game that got released the 12th of May and is playable in VR. Well, it is still in beta but it plays so well and is so immersive that I just had to include it in this list. You can make your living room a true escape pod and after playing this title in VR I don't see any other reason why you would like to play this on a flat screen. Let's stay in space and talk about Red Matter 2. A beautiful, good narrative and crazy immersive game. Red Matter 2 is an adventure that takes place during a dystopian cold war whose events unfold after Red Matter. It is the story of how people trapped in a reality created by their rulers rebel against their destiny and fight to do the right thing. This one feels like a true escape room, something that VR can just do very good. I highly suggest though that if you want to play Red Matter 2, that you play the first game to begin with. I will stay in space just a bit more because we have Hubris on the list as well. It just got released this month but this is one of the most stunning VR games to date. That together with some nice action and an okay storyline, this one is a real fun one for people who like platformers. Because in order to survive you will have to shoot, swim, climb and jump your way through the harsh environment of a planet being terraformed. Together with pilot Lucia, you have to fight the wicked enemies of the Triple O. Hubris is a game with one of the best climbing mechanics I have played so far. Really worth looking into if you like sci-fi games. Now many of you know that I love simulation games in VR. And with Aerofly FS4 being released, it was like a dream come true. A flight simulator optimized for VR. It runs so damn well. This title really got me by surprise and if you are into flight simulators and you have a VR headset, I honestly think that you should have this one in your library. Again, it just runs so well. The simulation offers over 10,000 real world flights, highly detailed cockpits. Just go check it out, okay? Now, if you are not so into modern airliners, you should take a look at IL-2 Sturmovik Normandy. A new expansion and IL-2 Sturmovik Battle of Normandy brings the air war surrounding the successful Allied invasion on France in June 1944 to life in your VR headset. Compared to DCS, IL-2 runs absolutely fantastic in VR, even in multiplayer where in most cases I maintain max FPS in a full server. So if you are a World War II fan and you like the Western theater, 
go check this one out. We go from the air to the ground again, but we stay close to planes with Airport Ground Handling Simulator VR. Oh my god, these transitions, I have to practice those. This is a consumer version of the professional VR training software developed by AVR and used by the biggest airports and ground handlers to train their ground staff. Your role is a ground crew member and you will perform different tasks during an aircraft turnaround process at the airport. This is kind of a niche simulator, but as many simulation freaks are watching my channel, I just wanted to include this one. Also because it's quite a stunning simulator. Talking about stunning simulators, another fantastic transition here. And well, I I'm not sure if this is a simulator or a game, but we have Kayak VR Mirage. Kayak VR Mirage is a jaw-dropping experience that takes you through beautiful locations. You can just play this one in free roam by enjoying the scenery, or you can start a race and crown yourself the fastest. A very, very beautiful game and a game to check out if you are looking for a some more relaxing experience. Far from being a relaxed game is Resident Evil 2. And yes, you can now fully play this in VR. Not just Resident Evil 2, by the way, but all the others in the series as well. It has full motion control support and having played Resident Evil 2 in VR, again, this is one of those games that I never want to play on a flat screen anymore. It also ran very, very well. And it is just so immersive to play this series in VR. If you like horror, VR is the way to play it, trust me. So if you have any of the Resident Evil series, go try out the VR mod, they are all free. Another fantastic free mod is the Half-Life 2 VR mod. This is a fan-made project which adds full virtual reality support to the original 2004 PC gaming classic. This is another mod that made the game feel like it was built for VR. Now, if you are a big fan of the Half-Life series, this one is really uh, one to look into. I will stick with the mods for now because another one is Raft VR mod. Uh, I played this one and it felt really, really good as well. From using your bare hands to sign for help, throwing hooks in the water and fish, you can now experience this game like you are actually there. So if you have played Raft in the past a lot and you have a VR headset laying around, I highly recommend trying Raft again, but this time in VR. Now the last mod on this list is Risk of Rain VR. And I get this question a lot. Can you play this game in VR? Yes, you can, and it works really, really well. The game runs like a charm and that together with full motion control support makes this game very fun to play. The VR implementation felt much better than most dedicated VR games out there. And a fun thing is, is that if you play the game in VR, you play it in first person. Now I have really fun with this one. Not so much in co-op because the PC player really has a big advantage, a much bigger advantage in third person. So I mainly played this one in single player. Now not a mod, but fully supported by the original developers was Hitman 3 in VR. This add-on got released in the beginning of this year and while many people complained about the implementation, I actually really liked it. I had a lot of fun with it. I think many people were expecting or always comparing everything with Half-Life Alex, but the developers did, in my opinion, a great thing translating a 2D game to VR. Another game that got VR support is F1 2022. And again, as a lover of simulation games, it was a blast to finally play this game in VR. I mean, this series was just screaming for a VR implementation. And only now you realize in VR how big that F1 car is. And not only that, the races also get freaking intense. And now talking about stress and intensity, we have Green Hell VR. And Green Hell VR is an open world survival game set in the Amazon rainforest, based on the successful PC title Green Hell. You are left alone in a jungle with no food or equipment, and to survive, you must learn real-life survival techniques, and crafting weapons can be a matter of life and death. One of the better survival games out there, and on the PC, it is also looking really, really good. It was also very nice to see an MMORPG being launched this year, and with Zenith The Lost City, your fight, craft, explore, and lose yourself in a massively multiplayer world built for VR. I have to say I had quite a blast with this one in the beginning, but it started to be a bit of a grind towards the mid-game. The game still gets plenty of updates and still has some great innovative features. Now if I had to play this game again, I would just gather some friends and just play together, quest together, level up together, and just go on that adventure together and not play with 
you know, alone or with randoms. I think it's a, it's a very nice co-op game. Now, if you rather want to fight your friends, go try out Rumble VR. I'm pretty proud on this one, as some Dutch people have made this title. And in this one, by performing specific martial arts-inspired movements, you can control the earth around you, you can gain mastery over this power and use it to defeat your opponents in an intense one-on-one -on -one PvP duels. Last but not least on the list is VilVR, and VilVR is a virtual reality multiplayer competitive shooter, emphasizing tactical gunplay, high-caliber combat and collaborative teamwork. This is really the ultimate VR esports experience. Unlike Pavlov, in this game you only need two bullets to kill someone, so it kind of feels very punishing, but at the same time, it can be very, very satisfying. Again, highly competitive and a really motivated dev team working behind the scenes to making this game the best shooter out there. Now, haha, <laughs> that was it. For all games listed here, I have made reviews or videos, so feel free to check them out. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to keep up to date with the latest PC VR updates to date. Have a great holiday all and to many more VR games coming in 2023. I hope to see you in the next one. Ciao ciao.